Okay, so today is going to be a my face routine or my foundation routine, whatever you want to call it. So the first thing that I do, I always start off, oh, P.S., because <laughs> I know I'm going to get questions. New contacts, they're gray. Um, yeah, I'm still kind of, I used to wear contacts a lot before, like I used to wear gray a lot, um, green and all that, and then I think like... A year or two ago I went natural and I started wearing clear contacts for like the first time ever and I really like my dark eyes so I don't know I'm like still trying to get adjusted I feel like a freak of nature with these contacts on so I might just go back to my clear contacts but whatever I'm playing around with them for today like this weekend or whatever okay back to the topic so first thing I do is I apply my Carmex, Carmex on my lips so they can start getting um, moisturized. Okay, so that's done. Now I take my moisturizer and this is the Neutrogena Oil Free Moisturizer. This one doesn't, I'm like running out, but this one there we go and I mix it with my sunblock and the sunblock that I use is a Dominican product it's called Belisa and it's just 45 SPF so I mix that in and I apply this all over my face and my neck and my chest <laughs> Okay, so now, lately I've been using this other product. This is the, okay, so this is the L'Oreal Studio Secrets um, Magic Perfecting Base. What it looks like. And I use this basically where I have larger pores. And I just take the back of one of my brushes. And I put a dab on both of my cheeks, on my chin, and like on the center of my forehead. And then like whatever's left over, I put it on my nose. This is not like oil controlling, but it helps my skin look all like smooth and pretty. My, my Iman, um, was it Iman? Yeah. The oil control primer that I was using. After I went to Dominican Republic last year, I took it with me and I came back. I don't know if the heat affected it, but it wasn't working the same for me. So, yeah. And then that's when I started using that white powder like a while ago. I don't know if you guys even remember. Um, in like a few of my videos where I never really talked about it. I was like really busy with school or whatever. Um, but yeah. That didn't work out for me it wasn't what I was looking for so I don't know if I should just give the Iman a try again or if I should just like look into like a different product but anyways now I'm just gonna do my brows so if you're interested in how I do my brows I'll post a link for you guys to check it out so I will be right back don't I look like a different person with brows anyways so um normally now I would go ahead and do my eyeshadow I would you know put on my base and do all of my eyeshadow but since today I'm not really wearing eyeshadow I'm just gonna um what am I gonna do I don't know I'm just gonna put on concealer onto my lid because I already have the concealer here so I'm just gonna put it onto the rest of my lid kind of get that evened out I'm not gonna put the conceal. Oh, I'm sorry. The concealer that I use is the Milani Secret Cover Concealer Cream. I've been using the same concealer since 
I want to say like last spring and I absolutely love it I it still has a little bit a lot came in this little jar I'm gonna go buy one today I'm gonna buy that and I'm gonna buy the NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencil because that's like my number one requested video on how to depot it. So I'm gonna go buy Ulta today and pick one up so I can do that tutorial for you guys since it's my day off. Um. So yeah. Um. So I'm just gonna apply a really neutral um, eyeshadow. Where's my? Okay. So I'm just going to use the Vanity Palette, and I'm going to use this tan color, the matte tan color, because it's really similar to my skin tone. And I'm just basically going to apply it all over my lid. With a big fluffy brush. And this is the Revlon, um, Revlon Contour Shadow Brush. And now I'm taking the, the lighter um, beige color and I'm just going to apply that as a highlight. Really lightly, nothing too much. I want it to look really natural. Like that. Um, okay, so now I'm just going to finish doing the rest of my um, face concealer so as you can see I have a few like acne scars from when I do get a pimple like here I have a small one and like here my chin has been breaking out a lot and on my cheeks over here so this will cover all this up so I'm gonna take this is the essence of beauty duo brush it came in a pack of, of five brushes duo so like 10 and this is the touch up concealer sign so with using like the brush sign i'm gonna apply my concealer Okay, and then underneath my eyes, it's not that I have like bags, but I have like these lines. Let me see. See those lines? I was like born with them, but I don't really like them. <laughs> so I apply my concealer right on them to kind of diminish that shadow and underneath my eye. So that's why I do my under eye concealer. But if like you don't have anything, it's really not necessary. that's like the main reason okay and then for my under eye I use my finger and I kind of just like smush that <laughs> blend it out with my finger I guess like that. and it's like I guess not as noticeable as it would be if I didn't have any concealer on Okay, so now I'm just going to set all of this. See how amazing that concealer is? I love it. It's like my favorite concealer. I discovered it from Sarah Lipstick last year. Okay, so the powder that I'm using, I ran out. See, this is, I used to use my MAC Studio Fix in NC43, but this is what I have left. It's really sad. You see, it's like hitting pan all over the place. So I bought this one. It's the Milani Minerals um, Compact Makeup in 105 Honey Beige. And I really like it. It's like the same color as my MAC and for like a fraction of the cost. You know me, I'm like the budget, um, like whatever. Budget fashionista kind of 
I'm all about like great deals and using coupons and or coupons whatever okay so I'm just gonna set this all over So now um, I'm just gonna do my liner and I found this new liner I bought like these two Milani products I bought my my face powder and this liner because at CVS right now I guess ending tomorrow the sale is buy one get the next one 50 off so like I said I love deals so my new liner it's the Milani infinite um, liquid liner and this one is in black and it's like 24 hours smudge proof basically like everything proof and this is like when I first tried it out on my hand the other day and I've washed and I've scrubbed and I've done everything and it won't come off my hand so it's like really good the only thing is that I normally do cat liner and are like angled not angled winged liners and um the brush is like pretty thick I'm gonna have like a formal review for this hopefully so I'm just gonna do my liner and now I'm just gonna do my mascara and I'm running out of this too I need to get one of those but I have my mascara Okay, so now I just have to do my waterline and for my waterline I use my ultra fabulous um, Jordana quick liner eyes in black so I do that and I also do the tight line up here I set that with a matte black eyeshadow using angled um, liner I mean an angled brush I'm all over the place today okay and then the matte black that I'm using is from the wet n wild green palette and it's down here but any matte black will do Okay, and now for my blush. My favorite blush is the Mellow Wine um, blush by Wet n Wild. Oh, I'm lying. I don't do that. First, I'm gonna apply um, like a um, contour to my cheeks to so kind of like slim down my chubby cheeks. So I use this is a L'Oreal True Match, and this one is in classic tan, and it's like a shade darker than me. So it gives like a good daytime, like not too dramatic. So right in the hollows of my cheeks, I apply this. Kind of see it and for the blush I use the mellow wine by wet n wild because I love it I blend it out with that same um brush with the bronzer not bronzer but with the darker shade what is up with my little air bunnies today okay and for a highlight on my cheeks I use the wet n wild mega glow illuminating powder in starlight bronze 348 and I use another bronzing brush by um elf elf I just put this 
right underneath my eye and kind of blend it down just a little bit for a little shimmer in the sunlight. And lips, I guess you can do whatever. I don't feel like doing anything today, so I'm just gonna do some lip gloss. Which is uh, L'Oreal Hip in Ripe. And I take it using the brush from my Jordana Banana Cream Lip Shine. And that gives me like a nice little pinky tint. Okay, so that's basically my face routine, um, including like my kind of eyes, sort of. Um, so that's basically what I do off camera that you guys never get to see. Like all you see is um, me doing my eyeshadow and then like maybe my under eye concealer, my blush, but you don't really see the concealer portion and you know like the bases, my sunscreen and my moisturizer and stuff like that. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, maybe picked up a few trip tips and tricks and um, interesting products that I use. For a list of all the products that I use today will be on my blog which is glamdollumi.com and yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!